Imagine a world where sound doesn't just serenade your ears, but actually tickles your neurons, massages your muscles, and sometimes even convinces your brain to temporarily forget all about the looming deadlines. Well, sound waves and frequencies, ranging from that blissful church bell toll to the subtle hum of Tibetan singing bowls, have fascinatingly intricate effects on our minds and bodies, which science is only now starting to, well, hear out. And today, on Knowing is Winning, I'll talk about how the sound and vibrations have an influence on us on many, not always conscious levels. So, let's start with the humble church bell. Ever noticed how historically the sound of church bells seem to soak into your bones and momentarily calm even the most frazzled villager? It turns out these bells typically ring in frequencies that fall within the lower mid-spectrum, often below 130 Hz, which neuroscientists say can induce a calming effect or even a kind of a pleasant reverberation in the brain. Interestingly enough, the effect is enhanced by the vibrations given out by the bell itself, something that is apparently missing when you play the same sound through the uh, loudspeakers. Remarkably, a University of uh, Geneva study found that sounds with uh, roughness between um, um, roughly uh, 40 to 80 Hz can evoke a strong brain response associated with aversion or even pain. Yet, the rhythmic harmonic ringing of the bells carefully avoids this unpleasant range, instead activating parts of our brain tied to relaxation and meditation. This explains why Asian societies might have stumbled upon bells as nature's tranquilizers without the, um, uh, the usual side effects. Now, Tibetan singing bowls add another level of sonic sorcery. Made famous in meditation circles for their deep, resonant tones, these bowls vibrate permanently within alpha, which is 7 to 13 hertz, and theta, which is 4 to 7 hertz, wave ranges that research suggests can foster states of relaxation, meditation, and even creativity. By listening to these resonances, some propose your brainwaves subtly align or entertain with the frequency nudging you toward a serene mental state. The bowls generate sound vibrations that your body can physically feel, like a gentle sonic message, activating the parasympathetic nervous system, which slows the heart rate, lowers blood pressure, and eases muscle tension, promoting a deep sense of relaxation. Speaking of brainwave entertainment, Let's enter the world of binaural beats, a therapy that sounds nearly sci-fi. Imagine your left ear hears 200 Hz, your right ear 210 Hz, and your brain perceives the difference of 10 Hz as a beat. And voila, magnetizing your brain waves to that frequency. As a matter of fact, different frequency ranges have different reported effects. Delta waves, which is 0.5 to 4 Hz, tend to deepen sleep. Theta waves, 4 to 7 Hz, encourage creativity and REM sleep. Alpha waves, 7 to 13 Hz, foster relaxation. Beta waves, 13 to 30 Hz, can boost focus and alertness, but also provoke anxiety if overdone. And finally, gamma waves, 30 to 50 Hz are thought to help with problem solving and uh, waking arousal. However, while sounds and binaural beats hold these promises, it of course varies from person to person. Yet, the healing power of sound doesn't stop at mental states, but extends to physical health too. Researchers have discovered that vibrational sound frequencies between 10 and 100 Hz particularly around 40 Hz, may promote neutrite growth, essentially encouraging nerve regrowth and brain cell repair pathways. This has profound implications for conditions like Alzheimer's disease or 
Nerve injuries, um, hinting at why music therapy sometimes helps patients cope with the um, cognitive disorders. The mysterious 40 hertz um, sweet spot might stimulate biological pathways critical for brain cell plasticity and repair, offering a potential non-invasive means to support brain health. But why does some sound feel deeply unpleasant or even disturbing? if not distressing, actually. Neuroscience research tells us that rough sounds, which are typically these fluctuating sharply between 40 and 80 hertz, activate more than just conventional auditory system. They recruit brain regions related to aversion and pain, explaining why things like uh, car horns or alarms spike our stress levels and grab our attention with fervor. Our brains have evolved to be sensitive to these frequencies because they are often a signal of danger or um, urgent need for um, attention. In a more esoteric yet surprisingly popular realm, certain sound healing practices have assigned specific Hertz values to particular therapeutic effects. For instance, the frequency of 174 Hertz is said to relieve pain and stress. 285 Hertz to heal tissues and organs, 396 Hz to liberate listeners from the fear and guilt, and 417 Hz to facilitate change. Yet, exploring the high frequency end of the spectrum reveals phenomena like the hypersonic effect, where sounds above human hearing range beyond 20,000 Hz, although inaudible, still influence brain activity by synchronizing neural oscillations and potentially facilitating enhanced alertness or mood improvements. This, of course, challenges the old notion that what we can't consciously hear is irrelevant. Instead, our brains might be jamming to ultrasonic beats behind the, behind the scenes and uh, without um, um, us consciously knowing about it. Recent advances in, in, in news in the field of vibration and sound continue to illuminate their multifaceted influences on people's minds and bodies, expanding both scientific understanding and practical applications. One of the latest developments focuses on enhanced experimental tools such as the Vibration View 2025 software, which improves precise vibration testing with sophisticated controls and hardware support enabling more detailed analysis of how vibration patterns impact materials and you know, possi possibly uh, biological tissues. This advancement allows researchers to fine-tune vibrations with greater accuracy, paving the way for more targeted exploration of therapeutic or diagnostic sound frequencies in various industries, including health and um, aerospace. On uh, the scientific research front, there has been significant progress in ultrasonic testing methods that use high frequency sound above human hearing to assess material integrity in non-invasive ways. Um, a notable study demonstrated how ultrasonic waves can detect structural defects in Japanese cedarwood by correlating reductions in wave velocity with defect size and distribution. While this work primarily supports heritage conservation and construction, it signals the broader potential of ultrasonic vibrations to non-invasively monitor biological tissues or even detect pathological changes, opening paths for novel medical diagnostics. Current conferences such as uh, Novem 2025 and upcoming international congresses um, on sound and vibration bring researchers together to share groundbreaking work on active and adaptive sound control techniques. These include smart materials and damping technologies that manage vibration effects, which while often focused on engineering and noise reduction, increasingly engaged with biomedical applications, such as reducing the impact of harmful vibration on human body. On the other hand, on the industrial and technological side, AI-driven acoustic anomaly detection, shown at the latest International Congress on Sound and Vibration, 
demonstrates cutting edge applications where sound patterns diagnose machine faults. This reflects a growing trend where precise vibration and sound analysis inform both health and industrial maintenance, illustrating a fascinating cross-pollination uh, of techniques. So next time you pause to soak in the resonant clang of a bell tower, the mystical drone of a Tibetan bowl, or even a carefully crafted binaural beat track, remember that sound is much more than just noise. It is a complex maestro playing your brain and body, tuning moods, healing cells, and sometimes even helping us tap into deeper states of consciousness, all orchestrated through waves, invisible yet deeply felt. And as science uncovers more about these sonic secrets, perhaps our future doctors will not only prescribe pills, but also playlists, because they will know how to use them. And now you do too because knowing is winning. Thank you very much for watching.